Hello and welcome to part 2 of the video that I made about printing a saw manufacturer's logo along with some other objects. You can watch part 1 if you want to see the printing process. In this part I will show you how I developed the prints further with mostly colored pencils. I am starting with the one that looked the most promising, the blue and violet one with fuchsia. Basically I'm just giving the letters and the gear wheels a little bit of own and cast shadows. For some reason in my pieces the light always comes from the left top. So I am only darkening the shadow sides. Although it is not something like a realistic painting or drawing, I feel a stronger bond to the piece if the objects have a realistic body, if that makes any sense. Erasing highlights with the eraser, which works beautifully with the Charbonnel ink. Diffuser needs just a little workout, carefully trying not to overwork it so that I don't lose the original print feel. Isn't it amazing how the flower shape is printed in detail with the etching inks? Just a little bit of pink for the surface of the petals. Although the original flower is not blue, I want it to partly be blue. Artistic freedom! This print got very dark, except that the paper that I took off the excess paint with accidentally took a bit off the Milwaukee logo and left a streak of light coming from above. I will leave it like that and even enhance it more. Happy accidents! As this one's so dark, I'm using a fine liner to enhance the outlines, but only on the shadow sides. Later I'm even adding some black fine liner. Turning some white dots into water droplets. I wonder why Milwaukee has two L's now. Anyway, a few more highlights with a white pencil. The two year didn't print that well either, so I give it a few highlights as well.
In this pink one, I have done the outlines with a black pencil already. Sorry, the camera didn't record. I will not use any other colors here than black and white. I'm using an electrical eraser for the little dots on the flower. You can't hear it, but it's humming away. You have to be real careful with this eraser. If you press too hard or too long, it might scratch the paper. Just touch the surface ever so slightly and go away again. I could use a Posca pen or some gouache for the highlights, but I find the little erased spots more subtle. Erasing some highlights on the gear wheel. If you draw a little black around the highlights, they are visible better. Here you can see that I scratched the paper a little too much. It's not so bad in this case. With the black and white one, as I had used only white Akua on black, black paper, I had some difficulties. Apparently the white Akua ink did not dry good at all. I thought I had just put too much ink on the print, but somebody in the comments said that this is the case with any white etching ink. I will try that with another etching ink in one of my next videos. I kept smearing the white color onto my pencil, that was annoying. It was okay on the flower though, where I hadn't printed so much white, but I had to get the white off the pencil in between as well. Putting a little bit of violet color there to match with the gear wheel. Switching to a darker color, burnt carmine for the shadows. And when I wanted to enhance a little more of the white here, it just smeared a grey area. You might even like it if you want that kind of effect. But other than that, lesson learned, not using the white on its own again. Some touch-ups with a black pencil again, and then I'll leave this one like that. This was the ghost print of the blue and violet print, which I picked up with white acrylic color. I have to do quite a bit to make this one an interesting piece. I'll speed this up even more.
I think it's snowing in Milwaukee. And even snowflakes have a shadow. Snowstorm is getting worse. I can hardly see the flower. I have to use the other print as a reference for the flower, as this one is printed so badly. Now I have to put some darker outlines to the writing to compete with the flower and then I call it a piece. So I hope you liked the outcome of these five prints and I hope to have inspired you to try out my techniques. Please leave a thumbs up if you liked this video and consider subscribing so you won't miss anything that's coming from me in the future. Bye!